hi everyone welcome back to my kitchen if you happen to be here for the first time hi my name is joyce and you are warmly welcome to joyce style of cooking on today's menu we are going to make our party jollof rice yes the holidays are here and i'm here to share with you how i make my party jollof rice and this is going to be delicious and flavorful and some tricks and tips so stay tuned and let's roll into our ingredients at, over here i have tons of bell peppers red green peppers i have onions i have tomato puree tomato sauce green onions chicken stock fresh tomatoes and over here i have my beef that i season with just salt and pepper and garlic and i have 12 cups of jasmine rice use a preferred choice of yours i have oil garlic powder ginger powder i have cayenne pepper peppercorn grinder curry powder i have not make i'll use only one fennel and anise seed mixed together i have a seasoned uh, cube beyond cube i'll use two salt to taste these are all my layout and guys let's get cooking so in my mortar i pour in my mixed mixture of fennel seeds and anise and i'm going to crush it to make it a little bit smoother and this is my pot that i'll be using for our jollof rice I say our jollof rice because I know you are going to make this too and share with your friends and family. So on a plate, I chop up my fresh tomatoes and then I add some bear peppers and onions that I have. And I've already blended one green pepper and two medium onions. Yes, this is going to be very flavorful and delicious. So stay with me, relax, and enjoy for some tricks and tips. So I don't want to cook my sauce for so long. So I added some of the mixture of the onions to what I'm about to blend right now. And there you go. So you blend all your mixture, and then you start cooking but then i'll start by frying my uh, beef a little bit and i'll be using the oil to start the base of my sauce for my patty jollof rice so guys here we go and these are all my layout after i finish blending everything and i forgot about bay leaf so at this point, I'm going to remove my beef from the oil and set it outside and now start the cooking process. Yes, jollof rice is very tasty, flavorful, and delicious. So guys, make it for this holiday. So I went in with my mixture. You remember I told you the green onions, um, the green, um, the bell pepper, and the onions. I give it a nice stir. So I went in again. So when you see that the oil started separating from your onions that is where you have to introduce another ingredient so this is my mixture of my fresh tomato bell pepper onions and there you go and i am going to give it a stir cover it for it to simmer down a little bit and then we'll start from there so yeah wonderful people if you are here and you are wondering what is jollof rice, jollof rice is simply spiced rice cooked in tomatoes, onion, pepper, 
with some seasoning and your choice of protein. So at this point, I am going to add my tomato sauce and then I'll be adding my tomato puree. I have a whole can about um, 16 ounces. So I just went in and then I went in with my habanero pepper because yeah, I want it to be a little bit spicy, but you don't have to do that. I went in about a tablespoon of garlic and onion powder and I'll give it a nice gentle stir. There you go. And then I introduce my bay leaves. And this is going to give, give it another flavor. To give it a very nice flavor. So guys, if you're enjoying this video, please don't forget to like and share to your friends and family because the holidays are here and they might want to cook some a big old jollof rice for their family. So I cover it, cook it down. So after five minutes, this is how it's looking. And at this point, I'm going to add my cayenne pepper, a tablespoon of cayenne pepper. Yes. And then I'll be adding, uh, you remember I was crushing my fennel seed and onion seed. Yeah, it went in and I grated my nut milk, one nut milk. It's going to alleviate the flavor, the taste of your jollof rice. Very flavorful. And then I will season it as I go. A uh, pinch of salt, season it to your taste. Give it a nice stir. And then the stock from my beef, this is going to enhance the flavor and the taste. Don't discard your, your stock, add it. So it went in. And I cover it for about five minutes. So after this, you see how the oil has set in on top. That's an indication that you have to add your rice. So my rice was totally washed multiple times. And I put it in my rice. And I will be giving it Another stir is a lot of stirring. You have to stir so that you don't get it burned. And then I add my chicken stock. You could add water if you prefer, but I want it, the flavor to be very dense and delicious. So don't add too much water to your jollof rice. Jollof rice is very tricky. If you your frame is too high, you are going to burn it. It's too low, it's not going to cook. So just make make sure you have the perfect frame. And this is it. And at this point, I check for the tenderness. It's a little bit hard. So I went ahead to add a little bit water for it to be a little bit tender. And then at this stage, I'll be introducing my curry powder. About a tablespoon or... Oh. Yes, more flavor. So you can just imagine my jollof rice. So yeah, I use the curry powder later on because I do not want to lose the flavor. And another tip for you, do not use too much water for your jollof rice. Just a little bit of uh, steam and water will be perfect for your jollof rice and fluff your jollof rice with fork. So on my stove, I am going to transfer all my jollof rice into my aluminum pan and be putting it in the oven for 350 for 20 minutes. And I still have my stove on medium low. Yes. So this is when I'm all done, I'll be putting my ring bear pepper that I've cut on it and this pepper is going to release flavor i'm all about flavor and taste into your party jollof rice yes cover it 
and put it back in the oven for 10 minutes and after 10 minutes i'll be taking and fluff it up and pull my beef and then put it back it's ba a lot of back and forth but when you do your jollof rice like this i bet you your guests your family will love it so try this method and thank me later So yeah, my wonderful people, if you're enjoying this video so far, this party jollof rice so far, don't forget to give me thumbs up. And as you can see, I just put it in my beef and I'll cover it and put it back in the oven for another 10 minutes. And then we'll be talking about jollof rice. Don't go anywhere and stay tuned to see what I'm going to use this ring bear pepper for. Yes, we are going to talk about jollof rice, the meaning of jollof rice. So don't go anywhere. Stay tuned and watch your girl. So um, jollof rice is mostly enjoyed in West Africa countries and some parts of Africa. Jollof rice or jollof, which is also known as binachi in Wolof language. And jollof rice simply means one pot like how you cook everything in one pot that's the meaning of jollof rice so that's a little bit tip for you and um, there you go again in my oven with my jollof rice so i took it out and i'm going to at this point my jollof rice is all ready and i use the bear pepper to garnish my chicken lollipop so if you are here and you haven't watched my chicken lollipop video please go ahead and watch it this chicken lollipop was so tasty delicious and i bet that will be another package or a good uh, recipe for you for the holidays so just look at this so flavorful so delicious so this is my party jollof rice thanks for joining me and thumbs up this video bye